many times on The Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Guys, give it up loud for Gene Pompa! Well, thank you, folks. Uh, I'm very excited. I got a new ant farm for my apartment. <laughs> I got this really bitchin' ant farm. You know, I didn't mean to get an ant farm. I just never cleaned my dishes. <laughs> it's like a free-range ant farm. <laughs> I had to go shopping today to get some boots because my boots are getting really thrashed. I'm telling you something. I can't believe how difficult it is to find a pair of men's classic black boots with just a little bit of a high heel and an open toe. I was in the supermarket, had these two shopping carts full of groceries. I'm waiting in line. This guy gets in line behind me. All he has is a jar of spaghetti sauce and some spaghetti. And he keeps like checking his watch and looking at my two full carts. And I just totally ignored him. And then finally I turned around and I said, hey man, if that's all you have is that spaghetti sauce and that spaghetti, then you just go ahead, do some more shopping, because I'll be a little bit of a while. <laughs> and I have to write a check. <laughs> and I don't have any ID. <laughs> and I got a lot of coupons. <laughs> All I need is a pair of scissors and I can cut them out. <laughs> I, uh, I quit smoking pot recently <laughs> because uh, obviously I'm getting older and uh, I can't remember where I hit it. I was up one night, I'm watching this uh, infomercial or this uh, public service announcement, and there's these third world countries, you can adopt these children for $1.50 a month, you know? And I'm thinking, well, hell, I should adopt a couple of kids. So I adopt a couple of kids, and uh, make a long story short, I miss a few payments. <laughs> and I just got sued for $12 in back child support. <laughs> My name is Jean Pompa, and in Spanish is pronounced Pompa. But I'm not Spanish, I'm Mexican-American. I'm an old school, hardcore uh, Latino political activist. For instance, I still won't eat grapes because of the plight of the migrant farm workers. And I also won't eat raisins because of the older migrant farm workers. <laughs> That's how hardcore I am. And I also won't eat prunes. <laughs> That's for a completely different reason. <laughs> I was fortunate growing up as a Hispanic. I didn't deal with a lot of prejudice growing up. None, you know, for the most part. So for one time, I'm 10 years old. I'm with my best friend, Danny Anderson. We rode our bikes to a crosswalk instead of walking them. And the cops gave Danny a ticket for jaywalking. And they gave me a ticket for vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> That was very unfair. <laughs> Sometimes when I get really bored, I like to take out the automotive section of the classified ads and just randomly call people up that are trying to sell their used cars. I'll go, hi, I'm calling about that 1989 Toyota Tercel with the BBS wheels and the tinted glass, 3,500 or best offer. Yeah, I was just calling to tell you I'm just not interested. You can do that with anything. <laughs> right? Like if you see a sign for a lost pet. <laughs> you go, hi, I'm calling about that lost cat, the striped tabby with the white paws. Yeah, I haven't seen it anywhere. <laughs> Where is that cat? It's driving me bananas. We gotta fight that cat. I've never been with a hooker. Seriously, <laughs> I've never been with a hooker, right? And around 10 years ago, I'm in Vegas, this friend of mine tells me, I'm with hookers all the time. No matter what they charge, I only offer them $100, take it or leave it, I always get something. I'm like, cool, you know, I'm gonna try that. So I'm at the bar, there's a prostitute there. She's like, hey, do you wanna go out on a date? I said, all right, you know, what's the deal? She said, it's $350. And I got all nervous, I forgot what I was supposed to say. 
And all I could come up with is, I can't because my mom only gave me $100. <laughs> And I was, when I was 18 years old, one of my older brothers, he takes me aside and uh, tells me that he's gay. So I call the police. <laughs> As he said over a cop car, my brother is a homosexual. The lady's like, sir, we can't send over a cop car just because your brother is gay. I said, please, he loves a man in uniform. <laughs> and it's his birthday. I would like it to be a surprise. <laughs> He's my brother. I've been with the same woman for a while, so to spice things up, we have to do a lot of role playing. So sometimes, like, she'll come to the door dressed as a hooker, right? Then I'll take her in the bathroom, I'll make love to her in the shower, and then I'll leave $100 on the bathroom sink. Then I'll go in the living room, I'll put on my pimp outfit, <laughs> and I take the money back. <laughs> You guys have been great. Thank you very much, Chief Palmer. Thank you. <laughs> Coming to the stage, this gentleman, you've seen him on The Tonight Show and the Disney Channel. Please put your hands together for the one, the only, Mr. Chipper Lowell. You sound good. How many, um, how many couples tonight? Couples, raise your hands. Yeah. <laughs>